Uh, since when did this place get so many villagers? Okay, I'm getting out of here. Hang on, this place looks different. This, this ball wasn't here before. Yeah, it was that area. Or that area. Hang on. Have I been building on this? Someone has. Huh! I know who's been building this! It's me! Good one, huh? No, because it made no sense. Anyways, welcome to the third progress video of my Majora's Mask adventure map. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? So I need to check to see if the audio is... Yeah, the music is off. Because my last two progress videos have gotten claimed for copyright. Because there's copyright music playing in them. So because of that, I have to mute the audio. Except anything besides my voice. So this is the canyon area, which I just built recently. All of that has been there for a while now. Uh, the canyon area is basically where you go to get... The over there to a kind of canyon. That's the graveyard. This is the canyon. Took me some time to build this thing. And yes, it is not finished yet because as you can see, Stone Tower is just a bare staircase that leads to nowhere and will allow you to fall off and kill yourself. And here's a house with a weird horn thing, which looks nothing like a horn. That is the best I could do, honestly. And anyways, let's go check out the ocean area, because that was not there before. Before it was just like a... Just looked like a tornado had torn through that area. So... This place is now has sand in it, and you probably know what that is by now. And you now need a... You need a bomb to get in here, by the way. To the pirate's fortress. And that great bay temple over there. It took me like a month to build that. And the letters. I think it took me like a few minutes to build. I think. Maybe like 20 minutes or so. So there's an underwater maze in it. As you might have guessed. Like in the predecessor of this map. Ocarina of Time. Which I actually just finished the let's play. The finale should be uploaded soon. And there's the beach down there. I'm getting tons of random messages because these villagers are keep stepping on the pressure plates. So there's a boat race track here for multiplayer races. And it's a pretty complex track, especially with the waterfall there. And there's a fishing pond, just like in the swamp. I saw there in Kitsukid. Hang on, what's going on? Is there a monster in here? There must be a monster in there. Yeah, there's monsters. And rain. And this is Pinnacle Rock. Which, yes, you have to climb instead of going deep down into the ocean to kill a bunch of sea snakes. Yes, this time you have to climb up to the top to get a key. And you know what that is, because of the sign. So, I am going to clip my way in there using game mode 3. So, it took me some time to build this. And if this creeper will move, I can get through here. This area took the longest time to make. I think it took him like a month to build this whole temple. Yeah, you're not supposed to fly up here, by the way. You're supposed to go in through the first floor. <coughs> so, yeah, that's the third dungeon. And then there's everything else I've shown you in the previous progress videos that have been claimed for copyright. I'm just going to clip my way through here using spectator mode. Oh my gosh. So this is the boss. Sorry for dodgy build. Uh, 
Also, something I've never shown in my maps before. This is the first map to feature sand parkour. Where you have to break the wood in the ceiling, then the sand comes falling down for you to do parkour on. And of course, there's a ranch, which I think I showed in the last progress video. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're hyped up for this map as much as I am. Look forward to February 20th or possibly earlier. Because all you've left to build is just this area, which is probably going to take a while. So, it might not be released in January, but it's definitely coming sometime this year. Sometime this winter. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in my next video.